Hi everybody, welcome back to Ukrainian Gaming. It has been a while, right? I am Andrew and today I want to start a new game with uh, Sid Meier Civilization VI Gathering Storm and we are going to play China. We're going to play China with the first original leader, not Kublai Khan, even if uh, recently the new leader has been announced and, and released. Most likely I will bring another gameplay um, with Kublai Khan in the future and most likely also more gameplays with other leaders and other civilization. Let's get started, let's create a game. I want to play uh, a deity challenge. The game speed will be standard, the map type will be continents and the size will be standard as well. To be very honest, I really appreciate the effort of the developers here in presenting even more and more game modes, but uh, I am uh, a traditionalist <laughs> in these regards and I will play without any game mode. Also, the, the disaster intensity is going to be two, so a standard. Let's just pick the, the leader, otherwise it's going to be <laughs> tricky if I start with the random one. And uh, the idea would be to get uh, our friend Qin Shi Huang. So, for who is not familiar with Qin Shi Huang, uh, we are going to have a 15% boost for each ancient and classical wonder when we use a builder on them. By the way, builders can also, um, sorry, receive also an additional charge. That's also amazing. And uh, we have also another bonus. The dynastic cycle gives provides with uh, an extra 10% uh, uh, inspiration. Um, instead of 40%, 50% for every Eureka and for every Civic Inspiration. So let's get started, start the game. I am really looking forward to see the map. And uh, as a strategy, I would like to, to run for a scientific victory, which is my favorite. Every, everybody likes scientific victory. And I think it's also the easiest. Um, playing a divinity, I think. <laughs> we, I will try to get there. And I think China is great because I can play wide, I can play with wonders, I can play with a lot of districts, so I, I'm really looking forward. I'm not a, a pro of this game. Um, on my Italian channel I brought most likely 12, 13, maybe 14 different challenges, most of them in uh, as Divinity, and uh, they're quite positive. They're all, I have all the different kind of victories, but this is the first time that I tried to play in English to civilization with this uh, level of, of challenge. And wow, it's, that looks funny. Uh, boah, that's, that looks really bad, <laughs> honestly. Okay, we can, we can found a city everywhere, but uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm tempted to found the city on rice or alternatively on these other on this other tile because then I will have more tiles close to my capital and more space for the districts I have this lake here which is horrible oh god it's going to be tricky I could also found the city on lay uh, on on rice then I would have still three tiles of uh, dry land around uh, and I would have probably more food right away I, food is going to be a, a, a problem for me. Let me go here. Okay, I will definitely found the city here. I can also reach the citrus, and I can mine the area here and build factories. It's it's going to be it's it's not my favorite start, but Xi'an now starts with three food, one production, uh, which leads me with a little choice. Um, I'm going to use this this tile, so it's going to compensate. I. I start with uh, four food and three production. And we are in Mu, new continent. Okay, I'm opening with animal husbandry. And I'm building right away uh, a scout. Next turn. And now we, we start exploring. Okay, we are already in a different, uh, we, we found a different continent. This is very, quite good. This is quite good because it should trigger also the civic boost. The tribal village is great. I will bring my scout there. Ah, mistake. I, I, I should have gone on the hill. Quite cool. Okay. 
it all depends also on the kind of uh, terrain that we will find uh, around our capital and it will depend a lot on the neighbors we will find but if i have a lot of production i might consider to go tall surprisingly and then spawn a ton of settler when the time will be the right one okay let's try to get this uh, tribe and let's let's create another scout I don't have a lot of choice. I want to get the citrus and that's great. The, the artificial intelligence for <laughs> this time is not disappointing me and is going for the citrus. That's absolutely great. One production, three food. I, I need this. And here we have a barbarian camp. We are going to destroy it as up because we need it all. Then we need also the experience and we need to avoid to be crushed by barbarians, by the way. Yeah, my dear friend, no way. Yep, this is a, this is a very good uh, place. Mm. To be honest, that could be a good second city, a portal city, a harbor, a trade city. I would have ships, I would have pearls, a lot of mountains. Probably here I can also fit a, a nice scientific district. And it would be great if I had here some empty tie between the mountains that could be really a great scientific district i'm not going to found a religion this is out of discussion i'm, I'm not doing that okay stop i need to micromanage xian yet now so uh, we are going to take the three foods uh that's quite good that's quite good and now in six turns we are going to have another um citizen most likely I'm going to take this, uh, this swam, uh, uh, swamps uh, just because of the food. So in this in this way, uh, Xiang will reach six inhabitants quite fast, and that could be good. Let's go ahead. Yeah, that's great. Choose research. Okay, we have the animal husbandry. I see that uh, we have horses on the north. Not. No, that's it. Um, mining could be also an idea, but actually I need to work on the citrus. So let me go directly for pottery and irrigation. Let's see if this guy is coming back. Yeah, it does. And he is also having now a disadvantage because uh, the marsh um, is providing a, a malus in combat. So yeah, he's, he's running away. Okay, this guy is going south most likely, and I want to see what's here, what we have here. And now Shihan should build a settler uh, without any other. Um... So 11 turns for a settler. Let's focus uh, our production overgrowth, unless we want to. So we, we gain two turns. If we focus on. on uh, food of a production we're gonna grow in three turns have a third citizen this is probably better now I, I i didn't calculate everything but i think it's going to be better okay let's kill this guy we killed our first barbarian and now we unfortunately we didn't re meet the requirements for a promotion that's bad but um, now we fortify until healed and then go north. So this guy goes south once again. No, uh, this guy goes here north. He will do this part of the of the shore. And we meet our first city-state, Buenos Aires. Let me check if they, those guys met already someone. No, we are the first civilization greeting them. Uh, we get an envoy and the production in the capital in, and in every city with a workshop. We be plus one for wonders, buildings and districts. Quite good. Buenos Aires uh, gives us also extra amenities for resource. Okay, your bonus resources behave like luxury. Ah, okay, great. Yeah, bonus resources behave like luxury. Cool. Bonus resources are like uh, stone, for example. Right? Yeah. Or cattle. That's 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 very good. I like Buenos Aires. Okay, 
The code of laws comes exactly when it's required. We are going to pick discipline and we are going to pick God King. So we are developing a pantheon and we are getting ready to fight the barbarians on the north. And now we meet Korea, which, by the way, is the worst competitor towards a scientific victory. <laughs> okay, the game is trying to troll me. Oh, man, where are those guys? They're already so strong. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a moment. Do they, are they already building a wonder? Jesus, guys, slow down. Pah. They have already a second city. They have a lot of gold. Nice to meet you. Pah. Okay, with the code of, go of law, I go directly towards the early empire and they go next turn. Of course, I need now to think if I want to settle. <laughs> Jesus, man, really? <laughs> okay, the Koreans are, are forward settling us. So, um, yeah, that's also a pity because this area is quite good. I wanted to maybe colonize here. I, that's, that should be better to block this area, uh, maybe a city in this area might be good. I am going to explore the neighborhood. And I hope that Yangzan is founded here. Yeah, that's not bad. So probably those horses can still be reached if I found a city, for example, uh, on those plains. Even if then the production is not going to be the best. Uh, if I found it here, maybe that, maybe that, that would be better. Even if... I might be too close to my capital. Let me see what we have here around. Yeah, for example, tobacco is not, it's not to be, yeah, it's a resource that we should not ignore. No man ever yeah, then let's have a look at this side of the river, of the Yellow River, then we will decide. Now, I think I forgot to micromanage my guys. Uh, it says six turns, five turns that they completed. Yeah, that's that much, that's much better. And probably I'm going to settle here south. Okay, let's move towards the barbarians because they are going to be very dangerous very soon. And next. This could be also a great pyramid and Petra city, but I'm not going to found him as a third city. Great, bronze working is our five experience and now we can attack those guys here. So, great bath completed. Yeah, that was Gyeongju. We found a new tribe, we used it. We have the bronze working, we get a plus one. We, we should really speed up with the, the golden age. I would really like to enter a golden age if possible. Even if probably faith would be useful if I do it. But anyways, let, let's see what we managed to do. And we have discovered um, a strange uh, natural wonder, which I do not know. Okay, great. Uh, that's quite straightforward. It gives us a, a ton of gold and faith and, sorry, and culture. Wow. And it's quite far away. It's quite far away. Anyways, next turn we should have our uh, settler now. And we have a promotion, which is also more important. Okay, let's give a promotion. It's gonna be easier. Plus seven combat strength versus melee and ranged units. This is going to crush the, the barbarians easily. And now let's attack also this scout. Okay, good. Um, the artificial intelligence is saying settle here in the desert, which means I would have these tier, so four resources here. And if I invest enough gold, they can get also cattle but I would go first of all on horses. So this is actually not a bad idea and I should be able then to fortify this area and it would be well defended. I think I would go there. 
now let's continue uh wow this 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 is just amazing this is just amazing really uh, i really like this wow <laughs> the the problem is that i think there is no uh fresh water here uh, yeah yeah there, there must be something here around because maybe maybe there is an maybe there is an oasis or a river let's let's wait and see okay the settler is done uh, now it's time for a slinger but it's also time for um extra food so let's grow again our city as much as possible and in two turns Xihang will have probably nothing so i'm going to buy this this uh, tile ah next turn Yeah, there there is a unfortunately just an oasis, and uh, it, that this place makes no sense at all. Except if I don't want to <laughs> take a very very high risk for a extraordinary Petra city here, that would be uh, probably probably the, the best Petra city of my life. But uh, it's so damn risky. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Let's keep the discipline. Let's keep the God King for a while. Let's go. Yeah, we have our B line. So we 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 have granted one builder. Well, this is a great support. Let me tell you guys, this is really good. So uh, we are going to use it right away. For can I mine this? No, nope. man. No, that's bad. Okay, I could use probably. I could buy this tile here and I'm going to do it and work it because I just need a, a farm. I just need a farm there and I will have a 3 1. So, four resources on a tile. It's quite good. We have a trade route now. Um, and we have 10 era score points. Yeah, that's quite good. Let's go ahead. But I see that we are very isolated and the map might be problematic at a certain point. Wow, wonderful! The, for the forest I wanted to use immediately is now burning, which is not so bad because um, later on it will come back with, with more resources. But so far, yeah, that's not the best which can happen. Let's work the horses. Let's knock them right away. And let's buy a slinger. Let's build a slinger. Okay. This guy gets a promotion, probably movements on hills. This guy keeps exploring the, 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 the coast. And here, let's get started with the bonus resource. And in six turns, we will have also the citrus resource and most likely I'm going to use... Ah, wait, we have four four boosts. So I'm going to move my uh, builder then south to work horses and to work cattle. So we will have uh, two ties worked in, in Xi'an and two ties in Shanghai. I can't speak Chinese, so I'm so sorry if I mispronunciate. <laughs> I can't speak <laughs> English. <laughs> I can't speak English either, but uh, at least without an accent, but that's another story. So, okay, we, we can we can grow very fast now. And let me move. So, irrigation is completed. Probably I, I boosted the Eureka. Great. And let's go now to towards archery. That would be great mining. Probably it's the best option. Yeah, it's uh, really, it's really problematic. I I have to I I have to settle on the on the coast here. I just have to think where. And I'm uh, there will be a city on the river. Probably, on this hill. And, uh, or on this swamp um, marsh as well. Let's wait and see. Now you go south. 
Okay, the forest is back, so this is going to be easy. As soon as my slinger is, is ready, I will move the slinger south because we don't need to protect the capital with the slinger, we will keep the warrior there and the two slingers will remain um, uh, defending Shanghai. I don't trust the Koreans, so I need to be careful here. I also need to move my uh, explorer, probably my explorer will go south in this direction, this other guy will go here next. You go south. Now Xihan can do something for us. The hanging gardens are not necessary. As I said, I don't want to, to uh, build settlers now. I start with the trade route because I need to boost the Xi'an as much as possible. So let's continue. Now let's take citrus. And I'm going to do something that maybe some of you will think it's stupid, but I'm going to gift it to uh, Korea. And uh, due to the fact that Korea is not a warmongering civilization, it might be that they will declare a friendship with us in the next 10 turns. Maybe. Not sure. But that can happen. That could happen. Okay, let's move south our worker now. This is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, that could be better, but... I buy the I buy the marsh. I, I just I think it's better to, to grow fast. And this is wonderful. Next. Okay, last turn for this episode, guys. Let's move here our worker. This guy I can get a promotion. I would say rainforest terrain and and here we go. So Turn 33, Xi'an and Shanghai are settled in a, in a nice position, I would say. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad position. I just think we are quite isolated. I just think we don't have a lot of room for expansion, but we have a lot of room for Petra and Pyramids. And due to the fact that we have a boost, uh, we should use it. Due to the fact that also workers can help, we should use this. Um, I will think where to settle my cities and I will do it at the beginning of the next episode and then we will define a strategy on how to get there as fast as possible. Thank you for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to the channel um, and uh, I see you next time.